Hello friends and my dear viewers. Today we are going to talk about a new therapy which has come to our help in the cases of infertility, IVF and ICSI cases. We are all aware that uh, in, in vitro fertilization is a very important technique for conceiving in infertility cases. That is we take the egg and the sperm from the husband and uh, make them join together in the laboratory so that we create embryos. These embryos are then grown to about 6 days and then implanted back into the uterine cavity. That is in short the process of IVF and gives very good results uh, in most of the cases. But when the age of the patient is more that is more than 40 or her hormone levels are different from the other patients like if the anti mullerian hormone level is lower than 0.5 and the follicular stimulating hormone level is more than 15 units then what happens is the egg numbers which we collect from the patient are very low. So once the egg number is low, we do not get adequate embryos to get a pregnancy. So in such situations what happens is we can create more eggs by injecting the stem cells into the ovary. These stem cells are actually present in our bone marrow. The patient is anesthetized or under local anesthesia the stem cells are obtained from her iliac crest that is the hip bone by a technique where the needle is inserted inside the iliac bone. This can be performed by a hematologist or a pathologist or whoever is expert in such techniques of taking out the bone marrow from the patient. Then this bone marrow is processed and we get stem cells from that that is in lay language we can call it as mother cells. Now these mother cells of cap are capable of regenerating any tissue in our body like the uh, bones or you know the cartilage in patients who have the other problems. But here we are dealing with patients who are having low egg counts. So we take this uh, stem cells into the syringe and with a simple technique of uh, uh, a technique we inject these stem cells into the ovary. This is done by the ovum pickup needle which we use to take out the eggs from the patient and through this needle the ovary is located on ultrasound and then these cells are injected into the ovary. Under our vision we can see this fluid going into the ovaries and here it is going to play that magic which uh, is going to regenerate these uh, eggs which are actually present in the ovary. So after one or two months when we do the ovarian stimulation of this patient with hormonal therapy we are going to get a better egg yield and then thereby we increase the chance of pregnancy by 20 to 30 percent. So these are the latest techniques which have come now which were hitherto not available to us and uh, we were not able to give good pregnancy rate to patients above the age of 40, 45 or patients who are actually having low numbers. These stem cells can be injected into the uterine cavity also because some patients have the problem of thin endometrium that is the lining of the uterus is very thin and this cannot be grown with the hormones where other patients grow this with the hormones but these particular patients do not have this growth. So what we do is in, enter the uterine cavity with a simple catheter and inject these stem cells there make the patient lie down for 10-15 minutes and then she can go home. So repeated stem cell therapy like that or a, pro, or a procedure of uh, PRP which is done can be can be helpful to such patients. So this is the new uh, chapter in the field of infertility which I wanted to present to you. Thank you.